Oh, what is up guys? Tonight on Project LX470, we're gonna be doing more lighting upgrades. In our last segment, we tackled the corner lamps here, putting some clear corner lamps in with some LED bulbs. Uh, the rest of everything else is still traditional halogen bulbs, so they're, they're yellowish and they don't match. So, for our headlights, I reached out to our friends at NAO, and they hooked me up with a set of their LED headlights that we're gonna be using for our low beams. Uh, I'm gonna put a link in the description below to where you can purchase these on Amazon, and also if you use the coupon code, the slip angle, you'll get a discount, so. <laughs> Ooh, we got our own coupon code now, that's right. For the high beams, which also act as the daytime running lights, you cannot just throw LEDs in there. When they're on the DRL mode, it's a low voltage signal that goes to them and the LEDs will not work for that. So you could run LEDs if you run decoders, but I don't want extra wiring or any of that nonsense in the engine bay. So I bought a set of Silver Star Ultras by Sylvania or Sylvania, however the hell you say this company's name. These are the juiciest ricer bulbs I can get. So I'm gonna be using those. And at the same time, it doesn't really matter because the DRLs are only on by themselves. If I turn the high beams on, I mean the, the low beams on, these go off and you only see them when I have the high beams on. So there's really not that much time where you're gonna see the difference in the lighting there. It should be a white light, which will match the LEDs and stuff anyways. And then right here, I don't know what brand these are. I bought them on eBay. Whoop. Our Ricer Yellow. And those are gonna go for our fog lights here, which actually there's projector lenses in the fog lights, which is pretty cool. And I didn't get anything for the turn signals because they're just turn signals. And I don't really care if those are LED or not. Those can stay halogen. It's okay. It's okay. So let's get, let's get into this installation. Kind of. So we're gonna do the fog lights here. It's kind of dark. I'm really up close and personal with real close with Ryan. <laughs> Dude, everybody's gonna think that we're together. It's so weird. Yeah. We're not, for the record. So he just untwisted the dust cap here. There's a spring that holds the bulb in place. Yep. He's undoing the spring. And then Can you see this? Kind of. Yeah. So it's a direct swap kind of deal. Let's pull the old one out. Got this nice new LED. Try not to touch it with your fingers or anything. Do LEDs matter if you get oil on them? I'm pretty sure they don't like it. Hmm. Okay. Clicks right in. Just plugs right in. And back in the hole she goes. In she goes. There's little tabs at 12 and 6. You gotta line up. Very dark. Bro. Bro. You're just a shadow. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> but that's it. Snake the thing around. Done. Put the cat back on. <laughs> There's tabs you gotta line. You're a little crooked, I think. Oh, yes. Where your thumb is on your right hand, that's like not sinking in right there. I can see it from here. There we go. There you go. That's how the slip angle crew changes the light bulb. You takes, see? Takes two. <laughs> it does. All right, so we're gonna change our high beam slash DRL. Here's our new guy right here. Not touching the bulb with my dirty fingers. But down here, you could see our light fixture here. These just twist and then come right out. Or the other one did. <laughs> Hold on. That's locked, unlocked. Got this? Yeah. Oh, there it is. See, I wasn't really lying. So old guy. We have a clippy. These are probably the original bulbs here. Oh! This 
tight. Oh, definitely tight. Our new guy. Oh, wrong side. Clipped in. And come back in. And we gotta twist it here. Get our tabs in, and then twist it home. That's it. One and done. Oh. Bro. Dude. Dude. It doesn't get much more JDM than that. Oh my gosh. It looks really blue on camera, but in, in real life, it actually looks kind of like more like a silver. It really does look blue on this camera for some reason, but in person, it, it looks silver, not blue. See that? Oh yeah, huh? It's crazy. So here's a before and after. So this is after with the fogs and the new uh, regular running bulbs. These are the halogens here, which these, these don't even look bad on camera, but they look worse in real life. And the regular halogen fog down below. It's way different in real life. But we ran into a little issue with uh, installing the, the regular low beams, which we're gonna show you in a moment what we had to do to, to make them work. And I don't know if it's recommended. I don't know if NAO is gonna approve of what we're doing. It may even burn out, so. <laughs> only time will tell. Only one way to find out. <laughs> Holy crap, that light is bright. <laughs> so here's our new NAO LED. It comes with these little fixtures here that you could put onto the bulb, like so, and sink it into the, into the housing here, and then um, lock it in place. However, it's a tight, tight fit doing it this way. And for the other side over there, I actually had to um, trim this plastic piece down to allow this to sit farther into the housing. So we'll show you exactly what the issue is that we ran into and I'll show you how I made the other side work. I don't think this is recommended by NAO. I'm doing it because I'm a cowboy and I'll see if they blow up. Um, but here's our here's our light fixture here, dust cover. So this just twists off. There, there is wires running through this, so you have to be careful. And I think in, a, in the in the instructions, NAO mentions that there's uh, they sell aftermarket dust covers. But in our case here, uh, we're not going to do that. So the same thing. It's got the spring clip here. Take this off. Put these wires around. Um, there's two wires that go to it. One grounds on the housing. That's our black and then the green is our power. So there's power off. At least I'm assuming green is power. All right, here's our old bulb here. So to install, you insert this in, in the same, same position here. They both got the, the nipples, Z nipples to line it up. Um, and then you would just lock the spring down. And once this is locked in place, you can literally insert this and push it in here. But doing it this way, you could see how this bottoms out right here. Uh, we don't have enough room and this sticks out too far to put our dust cover back on. These may overheat with the dust covers on because these are being LED, they need to be cooled. There's a heat sink on the back of this with a fan. So what I did for the other side was, is I actually put this on my, my bench grinder and I'll show you. We're gonna take this down a little bit and then we're gonna bore this hole out so this thing can get nice and down and far flush as possible. And that just gives us enough clearance to get the dust cover back on. And that's how we're gonna run these, like cowboys. Kids, safety first.
So now we can bottom this guy out like so, giving us maximum clearance inside of the housing. So to install, we're gonna take this back off. We're gonna come back down here. Uh, we're gonna align this in the housing. And I think the flat cut here goes kind of on an angle pointing down. You'll feel it lock in with the two nipples. So there's locked. <laughs> Real mature, Ryan. How old are we Real to mature. Lock? All right, so we're locked in here. I'm gonna take this guy, I'm just gonna push it in until it's in as far as possible. It's bust a blue. And take our two connections here. Uh, green goes to the red wire. And the ground that comes with the NAO light is a little bit too small. Let's see, this side, the other side was loose. Yeah, see this side's loose too. So we're just gonna put it in. Like it, there's some tension in there, but it will fall out if you move it too wrong or the wrong way. So I'm just gonna take a little- Electrical tape. Little scotch, uh, what is this? This is the 33 plus super ricer tape. Take about yay much here. And we're just gonna wrap it around this guy. To hold it snug. Oh wait, am I doing the right it's one? V dark down there. Yes, it is V dark down here. No, I got the right one. Just kind of give it one of these to hold her in place. Okay. So from here, we're gonna tuck these wires around the. The fan here going down below. It's probably awkward trying to film this. Yeah. Do the best we can here. So here's the here's the janky part. So this thing is gonna be tight as hell. Did you take your pre-workout today? <laughs> oh wait, my wires are still sticking out here. There we go, that's in. Uh, no, I didn't say it was an off day. I oh, know. Unbelievable. So, here we go. We're gonna push and turn. Oh, oh, popping out. Don't show my <laughs> face, bro! <laughs> the veins are popping out. Oh, I bet. It's really that much. I don't know how to push on this. Nope. Felt something crack in my neck. Here we go. Is it in? <laughs> That's it. See, easy as cake. <laughs> She's in. She's in complete. You want to light her up? Yeah, I can put the battery back in. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So here's the finished product. Gosh darn, it looks good. Yeah, not bad. I will say this, even though these don't fit almost at all, seeing the LEDs coming through the projectors looks really good. And I bet you these are gonna throw some pretty good light. And I kinda like the flare that the yellow fog lights add to the whole mix. Oh, let me put on high beams. Let's see how those look. And then here's the highs. So these still look like a, uh, an incandescent or halogen bulb, I should say. But the white is that, or the light is definitely whiter. It's a whiter beam. Yeah. It's just that it looks, it looks definitely more yellow versus the LED stuff. I actually really like the way these LEDs look. If you remember like the blue bulbs when they came out back in the day, like the cool blues, they were like really blue. This really looks like silver, the lighting. And I think that looks pretty elegant. Um, but again, I'm only gonna use these when I'm driving and I can't see. So it's not like it's really gonna matter that those are a different shade. That's what it's gonna look like all the time when I have the headlights on. I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, that looks sick. 
pretty elegant. 2.30 a.m. we're done. 2.30 a.m. So here's what I will say, don't buy these yet. If you wanna buy them for other applications, I think they're fine. I put a set in my NB Miata and they seem to be working pretty well. Um, I don't know if I'd buy these for your LX470, unless you're willing to shave stuff down to make clearance to, to use it. But these may burn out. Only time will tell. We'll see if they get hot, too hot with the, uh, the stock dust covers on. Or you can hit up NAO and see what they have for dust cover options and um, maybe they'll give you a better solution. But that is it for this one. If you guys have any questions, leave it below. Tell Ryan he looked sexy tonight. I didn't play Carol Swisper yet. I'm busted. <laughs> Stay tuned till next time. Done.